epilogue, or chapter 13 of The Time Machine, takes place three years after the time traveler vanished, and the narrator wonders whether the time traveler will ever return. Perhaps he returned to the past, and perhaps he was killed by savage cave people. Or maybe he went into the future again to find a happier, stronger society than he did the first time? He remembers that the time traveler did not believe that humankind necessarily advances over time and may actually eventually destroy itself. The narrator comforts himself with two strange white flowers, the ones the time traveler took from his pocket. They remind him that even when mind and strength had gone, gratitude and a mutual tenderness still lived on in the heart of man. Wells leaves the reader with a tease of an ending. The time traveler never comes back, but the door to his story is left wide open. Seeming to speak through his protagonist, Wells concludes that present civilization is but a foolish heaping and follows that statement with a call to action. The land of the Eloy and Morlocks is a warning. People have to live their lives so as not to go in the direction of that future, but in a better one. This is where people are headed unless they change their ways. The very last sentence of The Time Machine finishes the novel on a hopeful note. Love still conquers all, even our own species' deterioration. So the story within a story has an ending more sweet than bitter.